several years before returning to duty in the Turkish Air Force. And finally, we have missions. Coming together first through the hatches, Marcus Want and Alper Gezerauci of Sweden and Turkey, respectively, being greeted by the crew of Expedition 70. The two are followed by Walter Villaday, pilot of the Dragon Freedom. Last coming into the International Space Station, Commander Michael Lopez Alegria. Eleven crew members representing seven nations now on board the International Space Station. Again, 11 crew members on board the International Space Station now, representing Expedition 70 and the Axiom Mission 3 crew. We're now in a short handover period. We should be regaining the video and audio from the International Space Station momentarily to celebrate with the crew the welcome of Axiom Mission 3 to the International Space Station. With the crew uh, now on board the International Space Station, all hatches open between the uh, Dragon spacecraft and the International Space Station. Once we regain video from the, from the International Space Station, we should be uh, preparing for setting up a welcome ceremony. All 11 crew members will gather for some remarks uh, to commemorate this, mom this uh, moment. Back on board the International Space Station. Again, Expedition 70 gathered with the Axiom Mission 3 crew. All chatting ahead and uh, having some initial remarks uh, amongst each other before we begin that formal welcome ceremony. With you on two. Uh, we'll go on time for the event, so at uh, 35. We copy.
So the crew of Expedition 70 and, uh, again, Axiom Mission 3 astronauts on board the International Space Station confirming uh, they have a set block of time for starting this welcome ceremony, and they will take it. Right now, 6.20 a.m. We should be starting that welcome ceremony in 15 minutes. Station Houston on two, we are standing by for scene and voice. Copy, I just need to change the batteries. Just a second. We copy. Multinational crew currently gathered in Node 2 ahead of the welcome ceremony. We're expecting that to start in at uh, 6.35 a.m. Central Time. Jasmine Mobelli, a NASA astronaut in the foreground, speaking with Oleg Kononenko, Roscosmos cosmonaut. To his right is Roscosmos cosmonaut Konstantin Borisov, speaking with uh, Walter Villaday of Italy. Uh, uh, and the uh, pilot of Dragon Freedom for uh, Axiom Mission 3. Expedition 70 member Nikolai Chub coming into frame it's behind Mog Belly. Freedom crew Houston on the big loop. Uh, just start Friendly reminder, we need for you to complete step six and two decimal one zero two prior to the event. Yeah, Houston, this is Freedom on the Big Loop. We are complete with six point one year go for IMV fan activation. Copy, we'll get it in work. We are ready for the voice check. Thanks, Andy. We can use another 10 count, please. Good scene and voice check.
As is typical with uh, in-flight events aboard the International Space Station conducting a scene and voice check, and we're seeing more members of Expedition 70 gather ahead of the uh, welcome ceremony. Of course, we still have uh, Commander of Axiom Mission 3, Michael Lopez Alegria, and the mission specialists that were aboard, Dragon Freedom, Alper, Ge Alper Gezerauchi, and Marcus Want. In frame here, we have pilot uh, Walter Villade of Italy. To his right, to our right, his left, commander of uh, Expedition 70 aboard the International Space Station, Andreas Mogensen of Denmark. Going right from there is Konstantin Borisov and Oleg Koninenko of Roscosmos. Continuing around the circle, Laurel O'Hara and Jasmine Mogbelli of NASA. And on the left, Nikolai Chu. Freedom crew, Houston on the big loop. You have a go for 2.102, steps 6.2 and 6.3. 6.2 and 6.3 in work. And to clarify, Freedom, you have a go to complete the rest of step six. Again, we're tracking towards uh, the welcome ceremony of all 11 crew members on board the International Space Station starting at 6.35 a.m. Central Time. This is really the middle of the day for the Expedition 70 crew members and Axiom Mission 3 crew members. Right after the welcome ceremony, uh, their day is not quite done. All crew members will, part will participate in an, in an initial International Space Station safety briefing just to ensure they're up to date with the latest uh, information and the freshest information as they proceed about the rest of their day. Some of the crew members will then enjoy a lunch while the remaining crew members are briefed by the International Space Station uh, Expedition 70 Commander Andreas Mogensen, uh, who will brief the private astronauts who have just been welcomed on board the International Space Station Axiom Mission 3. Astronauts will get a briefing from the uh, commander. Afterwards, the uh, Axiom Mission 3 astronauts will proceed with cargo unloading and some initial experiment and equipment setup uh, before the end of their day. Tomorrow, Sunday, is a relatively light day for the Expedition 70 and private astronaut crew members, continuing with some cargo transfer ops, but setting up some initial experiments uh, and enjoying a lighter day before they really hit the ground running for their first week aboard the International Space Station. Axiom Mission 3 is expected to be a 14-day mission. Right now we're targeting approximately February 3rd, pending weather, uh, for uh, the undock opportunity for uh, the Axiom Mission 3 astronauts to leave the International Space Station and splash down off the coast of Florida. But of course, starting Monday, we'll begin um, a myriad of scientific and education activities uh, for them to complete. All this work has been timelined in months in advance 
uh, to coordinate the schedules of 11 crew members on board the International Space Station to ensure there is a seamless transition of, of using different scientific experiments and facilities uh, and that 11 crew members can get an incredible amount of science and discovery done in a short amount of time. SpaceX in Houston from Freedom on the Big Loop. We're complete through step eight of 2.102. Houston copies. And SpaceX copies. Axiom Mission 3 crew member and mission specialist aboard Dragon, Marcus Want, coming into frame. We'll start seeing all 11 crew members come into frame as they close out some of their activities. We're expecting to begin the welcome ceremony on time in just about three minutes. Station Houston on the big loop. We are two minutes out from the event. Station, this is Houston. Are you ready for the event? We are ready for the event. Please begin the welcome ceremony. Please begin the welcome ceremony. 
Andy Houston on two. Can you check the mic, please? <laughs> on, behalf, on behalf of the uh, Expedition 70 crew, I'd like to welcome uh, Axiom 3 on board the International Space Station. This is uh, an incredibly exciting time for human spaceflight with the third private mission, which is allowing many more countries to participate in the scientific research and technology development that we do on board this orbiting laboratory. Uh, we have doubled the number of nationalities on board the space station, going from four to eight, which I think is a great testament to the international collaboration which underpins this uh, marvelous space station. I'm also very proud as a European to welcome four other Europeans. I think this is the first time in the history of the space station that we have five Europeans on board uh, at the same time and certainly uh, it's the first time that we have two Scandinavians uh, on board so I'm very happy to welcome my, f my fellow Scandinavian Marcus um, but we look forward to the next two weeks uh, to an intense period of work on board the space station so a big warm welcome to Axiom 3 uh, from us on board the space station. Thanks, Andy. I think you said it very well. This is really a, um, a symbol of how Axiom, in conjunction with NASA and all the partners, is working to expand human access to low Earth orbit. And we've got, uh, as Andy said, so many nationalities represented on board, and this is really symbolic of what we're trying to do to open it up, not only to other nations, also to individuals, to researchers, to continue the great work that's been going on on board the ISS for the last two decades plus. The ride uphill was uh, pretty exciting, uh, never gets old. Um, I think we probably spent a few more hours in Dragon than we felt like we needed to, but uh, it was all good. Great vehicle, thanks to you at SpaceX for putting that thing together for us and for such smooth operation. Let me pass the microphone down to my crewmates just for a couple words and then I'd like to get it back at the very end if that's okay, Walter. Yeah. Thank you, Mike. Uh, I want to, first of all, uh, thank the expedition crew for this uh, warm uh, welcoming. It's uh, amazing to be up here and to see how much really all the countries and this uh, amazing uh, international collaboration has made in space, uh, creating this outpost. And I'm very grateful uh, for Italy and uh, just a few words in Italian. So thank you, grazie e un uh, grazie a tutta l'Italia. Vorrei ringraziare non solo l'Aeronautica Militare ma anche tutte le istituzioni che hanno portato qui questa missione in questo straordinario contesto di collaborazione internazionale in cui abbiamo portato scienza e per due settimane saremo qui a collaborare e lavorare con questo equipaggio internazionale straordinario. Grazie mille. And now I hand over to my colleagues and friend uh, Alper from Turkey. Thank you so much. Uh, I would like to thank first for your kind hospitality to Expedition 7 crew over here. Uh, they were waiting for us at the door actually, so that was a very nice, <laughs> kind welcoming for us. Um, I would like to thank for everybody for their great effort uh, for us to be able to make it over here in the last eight months training period as well as all the counterparts. Uh, for their contribution for our safe travel uh, to make it over to ISS. We are happy as Turkey uh, to step for the first time in our history and um, looking forward to contribute into the science and research uh, efforts over here. And I would like to say a couple of words uh, to my country. Turkey Cumhuriyeti'ni kurarak bizlere emanet eden Gazi Mustafa Kemal Atatürk ve silah arkadaşlarına bu vatan için canını veren tüm şehitlerimize e, buraya adım atmamızı sağlayan güçlü iradesiyle devletimize ve bu imkanları bize sağlayan milletimize şükranlarımı sunuyorum. İstikbal göklerdedir. Now I would like to pass over the microphone to my dear friend Marcus Wand from uh, Sweden representing here ISA. Thank you Alper. I also want to say first a big uh, thank you to Expedition 70 for gre greeting us and knocking on our door uh, in the middle of uh, everything. <laughs> it was pretty amazing. Been flying around and orbiting Earth for 
36 hours or so, and then someone knocks on the door. That's pretty strange. <laughs> and uh, uh, also, uh, I want to say that having the, this many, many nationalities uh, on a mission like this, and it just tells me that uh, collaboration can take you very far. Entering uh, the hatch here and meeting other people in space from so many different cultures and places around the world just uh, give me a strong sense of future, uh, which is which is awesome. I uh, also want to say a few words in uh, in Swedish to uh, Sweden. So, uh, hey, allihopa där hemma. Det här är förstås en fantastisk känsla. Uppskjutningen var en uh, resa. Jag har aldrig varit med något liknande förut. Och uh, sen att få se jorden från ovan och sväva runt. Uh, och uh, känna att uh, Sverige på ett så uh, kraftfullt och beslutsamt sätt uh, valde att ställa sig långt fram i utvecklingen igen. Vilket vi ofta gör och uh, fortsätter vara ett uh, innovationsland. Och visa andra att uh, gott samarbete fungerar. För vi har också här pionerat det nya sättet för Europa att ta sig upp och öka frekvensen i rymdutforskningen på ett sätt som, som vi inte har sett förut. Så otroligt stolt att få representera Sverige och Europa här uppe. All right, thank you. Mike. So now I'd like to uh, continue a bit of a tradition that we've started and that is to award the Universal Astronaut Symbol pin, if I don't lose it, to each of these um, steely-eyed aviators. Uh, I think it's telling that these will be the seventh, eighth, and ninth people that uh, Axiom has provided pins. In fact, since we started flying in 2022, no agency has pinned more new astronauts. And again, this is symbolic of us trying to open up the access to low Earth orbit to more and more people. So first of all, Colonel Walter Villade, it is my pleasure to, no, no, I'm going to put it on you. Oh, right. <laughs> You'll be number 609. Wow. That's a privilege, Mike. Thank you so much. Let me see if I can stabilize myself without missing. If you guys can, uh, if you can slide down yeah. and have uh, these guys slide here. Right. Thank you. This is a real pleasure to award this pen to the first Turkish astronaut in history. I don't think I need to say anything more. Alper. Can you hold the microphone? Yep. Uh-oh. I actually broke it. go. And finally, Marcus. Thank you, Andy. Thank you, Mike. I failed to mention Alper obviously is uh, number 610 and Marcus is 611. And finally, I want to thank all of you guys again for welcoming us aboard. I know that it's tough uh, to have guests in your house, and we promise not to spill any red wine on your white carpet. <laughs> thank you, Andy. Once again, uh, welcome, and we look forward to working with you for the next two weeks. It's going to be an incredible mission, and uh, we're excited to have guests. Thank you to all participants, and welcome aboard Axiom 3 Station. We are now resuming operational audio communications. All right, 11 astronauts on board the International Space Station working together for science and discovery. It's going to be a, a very busy and jam-packed couple of weeks with uh, a full space station, uh, but certainly nothing that can't be handled. This will be the third time we have a private astronaut crew on board the International Space Station. The third time we have 11 astronauts as part of this mix as complement of private and government astronauts. And of course, the private astronauts representing their own governments, expanding nations to seven nations right now on board station, conducting science uh, for uh, the benefit 
benefit, really, of the world. For that, uh, really, that will conclude our coverage here uh, in Mission Control Houston. Before, of course, the Expedition uh, uh, crew and the Axiom Mission 3 astronauts, really, the journey has just begun. Uh, so that'll wrap it up here in Houston. I'll toss it over to Kate for some closing words from Hawthorne. Thanks so much, Gary. It really was so wonderful to see them all together. Some really nice words there uh, from our commander, MLA. But on that note, we're going to wrap up our live joint coverage of AX-3's arrival to the International Space Station. It's been an honor to support the Axiom-3 mission thus far. We wish Marcus, Alper, Walter, and MLA a successful time on station, and we look forward to joining you when it's time to return home. Yeah, Kate, from launch to docking, it has been an absolute pleasure sharing this desk with you again, so thank you. Over the course of the crew's time on station, we will be producing mission updates from Axiom's Space Station Development Facility with Commander Lopez Alegria sharing highlights and special moments with Walter, Alper, and Marcus. So please be sure to visit axiomspace.com and follow the Axiom social media channels for real-time updates. And with that, on behalf of SpaceX, Axiom Space, and NASA, thank you all for tuning in to watch from wherever you're watching from. With that, good morning, good evening, or good night. <laughs>